In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I turn from this to this. And if you want to learn my favorite makeup products and techniques to achieve a clean girl strawberry makeup look, then keep on watching. Hey guys, we're going to get started with our makeup. I'm literally so excited to be showing you guys every single thing that I use to achieve my clean girl strawberry makeup look. I've kind of narrowed it down to the products that I get the most compliments with. You don't have to use any of these products that I'm using. You can use drugstore. Drugstore works just as well. But, you know, since I work at Sephora and I do get a discount, I get tempted, okay? First off, primer. If you don't use primer, I'm not going to come for you because there's times where I don't use primer, but I always regret my decision because I can notice a difference when I do use primer and when I don't. My favorite ones are this Refi Glow and Sculpt Face Primer and this LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. The best part about them is that they have skincare benefits. Obviously, when you're putting makeup on, it can clog your pores, it can break you out. After I put my primer on, I kind of let that sit. You don't want to like rush your makeup. Obviously, if you're in a rush, then... I'm gonna do my brows while this kind of like settles into my skin. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. soap brow I just start brushing my brows up. I love like that laminated brow look But I don't like to make my brows look too crazy and like frozen in place And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's supposed to look crazy before it gets better I just did my brows off camera because honestly like I was just getting overstimulated overwhelmed Basically, I filled in my eyebrows with this NYX lift and snatch brow tint pen so now we're gonna go in with the base and i love to do a skin tint because i feel like it's so much better than a foundation it's very breathable lightweight i'm going in with this say dual ended brush i know some people say what's the point of using a brush if you're gonna use a sponge anyway but think about it like when you paint a room if you go in with a brush to kind of paint the room like it leaves like those streaks but when you use a sponge it blends out those streaks the same way that when you use a roller on a wall it kind of gives you like this smooth finish that a paintbrush can give you oh my gosh i forgot i forgot to put this on i love putting this on there's no rules to makeup guys and then i'm just gonna go in with the same brush now we're gonna do concealer I have three favorite concealers that I rotate in between. This is Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This has to be my number one favorite concealer for every day. This is the Say Slip Tint Concealer. This is still hydrating, but not as hydrating as this. Today, I am going to be using Hourglass just a little bit because I do want a little bit more full coverage since I used a light coverage tinted moisturizer. So now we're gonna go in with bronzer. This is my bronzer of choice. It's the Refi Cream Bronzer. I'm just going to put this kind of like where my cheekbones are. It looks more natural when it's a little bit on the reddish orangey side. When you know your face shape, you'll be able to do your makeup a lot better. I still don't even know exactly what my face shape is. If any of you guys can tell me right now, just look at my face and please tell me what face shape you think I am. Honestly, I feel like I'm like a square or like a diamond. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Somebody help me, please. Before I go in with a loose powder, I like to go in with a pressed powder. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Pressed Powder. Just because my eyes are super prone to creasing. My favorite part ever, it's the Huda Beauty Powder. I set my under eyes. I like to go in with a little setting mist. I like this one from Glow Recipe. It's a watermelon glow mist to give me that glow. Smells amazing. It's time to add a little bit of color to our face. I'm going to be doing this new little pigment that I bought. It's from Ilia. I usually use my Patrick Ta blush in She's a Doll or the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Hope. This definitely gets me a lot of compliments every time I wear this. But today I thought it would be fun to try something new on camera with you guys and get my reaction together. I have no idea how this is gonna be. I'm nervous. So far loving the color. I think it's definitely the color I'm going for. These are the blush placements. I definitely love my blush to look very sunburnt and I feel like that's what the strawberry makeup look looks like. We have to set the blush with a powder and I have a couple. This one is the best 
drugstore powder blush that you will ever use this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour blush obviously this is definitely on the high end side this is dior rosy glow blush in the shade pink i also love the kylie blush this has also gotten me compliments this one is batty on a block and then this is definitely one of my favorite strawberry blushes it's krista i broke mine on accident Okay, I'm gonna do bronzer really quickly. I'm using my Hoola bronzer. Honestly, the key to a strawberry look is simply a nice bronzy glow and a really pretty strawberry pink blush. If you guys want like a more natural bronzy glow, this is so amazing. This is the new Merit Solstice Glow Highlight Balm. It's supposed to be like a highlighting balm, but it's like the perfect shade if you're a light complexion for a glowy bronzer. It's time to add highlight because obviously we need to be glowing. We need to be looking like a glazed donut. And I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. I like to set my highlight with a powder. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. It's the Benefit Tickle Highlighter. But I also love this one from Rare Beauty. It's in the shade Enlighten. You're probably wondering, are you almost done, Melly? No, I'm not. Here comes the best part of the whole entire makeup look. The freckles, hello. It would not be complete without freckles. Freckles are the cutest thing to have ever been created by God. It adds like the cutest little touch to any face. So I'm using my freck pen. This is by far one of the best freckle pens ever that I've used. I like to focus it kind of like near the bridge of my nose and kind of a little bit like right here. And now it's time for eyeliner. For my brown eyeliner, I'm gonna use my Pretty Grunge palette from Huda Beauty. And I'm gonna use this shade over here it's called hope and I'm gonna use that to create my my wing this is also really good if you mess up eyeliner super easily because you can just clean it up super easy and I'm using my YSL lash clash I still have not found my favorite mascara ever I don't know let me know if you guys know any mascara that's like volumizing and lengthening but not clumpy and easy to take off that's one eye this is definitely like a decent mascara but i just feel like i don't know it's really hard to take off at night so that kind of like discourages me from the thought of it also let me know how long it takes you guys to do your makeup if i'm rushing then probably 20 minutes i'm gonna use this highlighting balm from merit in the shade kava and i'm gonna put it on my eyelids just for a little bit of highlight on my lids then adding a little bit of rare beauty to my inner corners these are some of the lip products that I feel like are worth buying and trying. Starting with lip liners, my favorite go-to lip liner is the Kylie lip liner in the shade Coco K. I love the pink shade in this. Like, I've never found a pink that looks as good as this one. I tried looking for one, but this by far is like one of the best pinks that I've ever had on my lips. And then I have the Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut lip liner. This is actually like a multi as well like you can use this as a eyeliner then the charlotte tilbury foxy brown lip cheat lip liner this shade is super brown definitely not for like every day but it's good for like those special occasions and then last but not least is the sephora lip liner in the shade hot sauce i love the consistency of these lip liners they're not as long lasting but i just love the way that they feel so buttery and smooth and they have a great shade range now for lipstick these are my top choices out of all the lipsticks that I own. First off is this Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. I don't think they make this anymore, but I love this pink shade on this. It kind of matches Coco K. It's a little matte though, so that's the only thing I would say not my favorite. Then I have this Merit Signature Lip Lipstick in the shade Sunday. I love this lipstick so much. It is so comfortable to wear. It lasts pretty long. I love the shade in this. I just love the consistency. Overall, definitely one of my top favorites. Next is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk medium not a big fan of this shade i love the original pillow talk so if it was this would definitely be my number one next is this anastasia beverly hills kiss lip velvet this is very similar to this Too faced except this one is velvet 
and it's not super matte which i really like i just love the color on this the kylie lipstick in coco k i feel like this is definitely one of my favorite matte lipsticks for sure again i love the shade of this pink it's just the perfect nude pink i love it so much this is definitely by far one of my favorite lip balms ever that have a little bit of color it's definitely not a lipstick but the summer fridays lip butter balm in the shade cherry i have also vanilla and i also have vanilla beige and i have pink sugar i don't know where pink sugar is she's somewhere in one of my purses but these are definitely by far one of my favorites last but not least is the dior lip glow oil this one is in the shade raspberry i definitely don't think that this is necessary i feel like there's a lot of lip oils out there that are just as good but i don't know i love the consistency of this and i love the way it smells and it feels on the lips doesn't dry my lips out at all and i don't know if you want to splurge and try it out you definitely should so i think for today for like the strawberry makeup look i'm gonna go in with coco k and i'm just gonna line my lips i don't overline my lips i used to and then my mom made fun of me and i was like never again am i ever overlining my lips i am gonna go in with the same stick from Ilya, just because i wanted to kind of match my blush a little bit and I am mixing it with a little bit of my Merit because I love how like pinky red this color is. I'm going in with my Your Lip Oil just for that shine. And now we set the face with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. <coughs> just like burn my nostril hairs. <laughs> So what do you guys think? I love this makeup look. Obviously the blush kind of like settled down a little bit. I love this makeup look. It is my favorite makeup look to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you learned a lot and if you enjoyed it. I hope that I was able to teach you guys some stuff that I know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep seeing more of my videos and I will see you guys on my next video. God bless you. God loves you. Show love. Bye. Hmm?